Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts 5 Minute Flights. We are here at Our Lady of Perpetual Hope, Hops. Our Lady of Perpetual Hops, apologies, in New Albany, Indiana. And we are ready to do our five minute flight. So we're starting out with five foot nothing. This is a Belgian blonde, 4.2% ABV. Let's see how it smells. Just washed my hands. I smell soap. Oh, amateur. Actually, it doesn't have much scent. That's a very light scented one. A little bit of malt, but that's about all I'm getting. Let's dive in, cheers. And they also have another one called Five Foot Something. That's true. They have a Five Foot Something that's just a blonde. This is the Belgian blonde. And the flavor is much bigger than the scent. I'm getting that kind of Belgian yeasty taste to it. Mm. Oh, that's really But it's super light and not heavy. Like a lot of times you get those Belgian beers and they're really heavy and they have a lot of ABV. This is a crushable version. Nice light easy one but still had the flavor but still has all that flavor so that was really fun next one is called knocking on heaven's door <laughs> i love that name it's their half of eyes 4.5 all right let's see how it smells i'm getting spice but not as much on the banana a little a little on the banana but the spice comes across first Let's see how the taste goes. Cheers, everyone. If you hear the banging in the background, they're having a bags tournament behind me. Yep. Oh, that is one of the blondest half and half of Eisen's I've ever had. It comes across as a blonde ale. You get a hint of banana and clove at the end, but it's just barely there. It's very, very gentle, very soft. It's a wheat, a wheat ale, not a blonde. It's a wheat ale. And then you get a hint of that flavor, the Hefeweizen flavor that you expect at the very end. Super light and easy. Nice and simple. Mm. Oh, I am loving that. I'm going to order another one of those. All right. Our next one is called their Ghetto Philosopher. It's a New England IPA. It's a 6.3 ABV. And our friend Shannon, who has been with us through Louisville, 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 Kentucky, <laughs> and here in New Albany, Indiana. Uh, she actually helped name this one. She said Ghetto Philosopher to one of the brewers, and they took that as the name. So, super fun story there. 6.3 New England. Let's see how it smells. Oh! Um, citrus, pineapple, and a little bit of mint. Ooh! I'm getting a mint. hint of gr green plants and mint and the scent. Oh, that threw me for a second. Like grass green. Like, mm. that's interesting. I'm looking forward to trying this one. That's different. Cheers, everyone. Juice front, but you do get that green plant flavor. Like, it, I know it's a hop. One of their hops is really working there giving you this you're chewing on a leaf kind of flavor oh there's a resinous a resinous quality to the end too you get kind of that piney thing on the end so not green wood you're saying green leaves plants. Okay. leaves like okay. plants or grass chewing on a stalk of you know grass from outside yeah. kind of thing last one master debater master hmm. debater 6.7 this is their wheat ale and let's see how it smells. Again, very light on the nose. I get a little bit of that uh, blue moon wheat kind of smell, but it's barely, or no, more like Oberon on the scent. Barely there, but I'm not getting for any fruit back on the nose. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, the fruit back is there, but it's not necessarily citrus. It's, um, a little banana, a little, uh, what is that? Um, I can't place it. It's not as much citrus though. That's really interesting. Wow, that's one to look out for. And it's a 6.7, so it'll knock you down too. 
I'll tell you what, this brewery is super fun. We've heard Shannon and uh, Todd talk about it because this is their home base brewery. Heard them talk about it a whole bunch, always wanted to come here. Now we're here and I'm so glad. The beer is great. You guys gotta check it out. The bags tournament, the games, everything. From the Ghetto Philosopher, cheers everyone. Bye, she forgot about me. Oh, did I? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Mallory and she's behind the camera.